Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the President's first forum for students uh, for the spring 2022 semester. I'm Tim Gordon, Vice President for Student Affairs, and I will serve as a moderator today. Um, I ask for those students who are attending that if you have a question, you can ask that question in one of two ways. Either raise your hand and when we see you, we'll go ahead and uh, work in order and unmute you, or we can also, you can drop your question in uh, the chat. We'll also generally share some resources in the chat box as well, so certainly keep uh, your eyes um, on the chat box there, but at this time, I'd like to turn it over to the president, Dr. Catherine Conway Turner, who will offer some opening comments. Well, good afternoon, students. Uh, this is an opportunity for uh, the check in with you and see how things are going, and also respond to any questions that uh, you may have here as we're hitting um, the end part of, of March. Uh, but I certainly want to wish you a wonderful spring breaks next week uh, as we are approaching spring break. I'm sure that for many of you, you've been looking forward to that and counting down days and, you know, please uh, spend some time resting and sort of rebalancing yourself as you come back for the end of the semester. And for those of you that are seniors or no seniors, um, I know a question that I have received is, uh, will we be back in person for graduation? And we will. And so you can certainly pass the word to any of the seniors. We're very much looking forward to having a graduation um, where we can all be together with family and friends. And so it certainly is a highlight of my year to be with our graduating seniors uh, and those finishing degrees and, and certifications at the end of the year. And so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, today, joining me are a number of members of our team that can really respond to any questions you have over a whole wide variety of areas. And so I'm going to toss it back to Vice President Gordon so that we can get any questions you have and um, make sure that we can answer them fully for you. So with that, once again, welcome students and great to be with you virtually um, this afternoon. Tim. Great. Thank you, President Conway Turner. Um, it looks like the chat is enabled. So students, if you have questions, um, I ask you to put those in the chat or raise your hand and we can call upon you uh, as we see those hands raised. So I'll give you a second to do that. Maybe as we wait, uh, you know, President Conway Turner, I know we continue to talk about uh, mental health and supporting our students as we've been through um, really a challenging couple of years and as we started this academic year. So I'm wondering if you'd like someone to talk a little bit about some of the things that we're doing um, and what students can continue to access in terms of resources. Uh, absolutely. So Dr. Better, if you want to talk a little bit about um, what we have available for any students that may be feeling that they need some extra care or Dr. Doyle, either or. Sure, I'd be happy to. So at the Counseling Center, um, just so everyone knows that we, are, we offer free mental health counseling for any registered student. So that's one-on-one -on -one counseling, that's groups, that's workshops. We also have walk-in urgent care or phone urgent care where you can walk in or call us and say you're in crisis, you need to talk to an urgent care counselor. We've also been out and about on campus offering some really fun and relaxing events for students. Um, about four or five times a semester, we're in the, the student union with therapy dogs and with coloring mandalas and just tabling and answering questions about mental health or about anything to do with our services that you'd like to know about. Um, and we also have a mindfulness workshop that's going in um, the student union on the fourth floor every Thursday at 3.30. You can just walk in. You don't have to register for it. Um, so we're trying to do a lot of fun stuff that you can access um, in the student union and in other places on campus, as well as the, the services we offer at our center. And my chat, um, it looks like my chat boxes might be disabled because I, I can also put some resources in the chat if I'm able to do that. And Shara, Amanda's checking on the chat box right now. Great, thank you. Dr. Doyle, anything else to add in terms of other activities that can be balancing for our students that sure, we, we have? 
we have lots of wellness activities going on as well. And I'll let Paula uh, Magical talk a little bit about that. But I just want everybody to know that the Weigel Wellness Centers, which include the health, the counseling and health promotions office, um, and currently the fitness center, um, are available for all students to use um, walk-in or appointment basis. Paula? Thank you. So I'm sorry, my camera's not on at the moment. I'm actually helping out at the farmer's market today until one in the union, $10 fill up a bag. But we do have lots of programs, workshops, services available for folks in regards to anything. I always say biopsychosocial. So anything that physically you would perhaps need, uh, socially, relationships, uh, and mentally, again, just sharing those resources, whether it's connecting you to counseling on campus or in the community, uh, trainings or workshops, we have a ton of them. Uh, CPR will be opening up again next semester. Uh, we do have uh, different programs available online as well. And in person, sometimes we're trying to be accommodating to folks who may still be 100% online. Uh, things like the Narcan training, or we have uh, the Stop the Bleed with ECMC. Um, and if there's something that you feel we should be offering that we don't, uh, I please encourage you to send me an email or a suggestion. We are in the union every Tuesday for Bengal Pause from 11 to 1.30. Sometimes we have other folks with us to help share information or resources, again, either on campus and in the community do understand that we have folks that uh, don't come to campus that often. And so we wanna make sure that you are aware of what else there is available, perhaps closer to you or more accessible. Um, but my information is available on the website and uh, we do now offer texting. And so I am on the other end, if anybody, if you got that message or wanna opt in, that's a, something that you can always do. And if I don't have the answer, I will get it and I will get it back to you. And Char or Rock, maybe you can drop the information about the texting, uh, where to find the information about the texting line in the chat. So students, how are you doing? What's on your mind? We've got a few students in the room, so we want to hear from you. That's the whole point of bringing this together. So President Conway Turner, I think the other question that probably is on folks' mind is, do we have any idea of what fall semester might look like as we look towards the um, next academic year? Absolutely, and of course, that is something that we've all been thinking about. So, and probably you're most curious about classes. So I see Dr. Wall on the line. You wanna talk a little bit about uh, as we prepare for fall classes? Yes, thank you. So hello, everyone. So yes, we uh, will be returning or still be, I guess, at normal, in which we have largely more face-to-face -face, uh, courses. Um, so there will be um, maybe 20% of our courses that will be online. Um, so yes, we have our commencements um, that will be in person. Um, our, um, what is it? The, honors convocation will be in person. So fall, given um, things stay stable, we will see everyone in our classes this fall. And if, if I may say, if you don't mind, since I spoke of fall 2022, um, I don't know if you all know that registration for the fall semester starts April 6th. Um, so it's important that you all go see your advisor. Um, some of you may have a pin that is needed and right now your instructors are um, putting in midterm grades in Banner. So you should be able to see those in DegreeWorks as well as your instructors are filling out what we call the Bengal Success Portal so that you can see um, your progress um, and your progress will be shared to your advisors and others who are on your network. So yes, fall 2022 will be um, in person. Thank you. So for the, all those students that are returning in the fall to complete their degrees, uh, everything will be in person. For those of you that are graduating and wondering what to do next, and if you're thinking about graduate school, I see we do have the Dean of the Graduate School in. So Dr. Millard, can you talk to our seniors on the line and how they can connect and think about our graduate programs? 
Well, thank you. Absolutely, I can do that. Um, we do have uh, what with 60 something post back, uh, right on 66 post back opportunities or, or graduate opportunities for all of our students. Um, they can begin uh, in some cases this summer if they want to get a real true head start on it. Um, they have uh, the opportunity, to, I would apply now. Uh, some, some programs uh, you want to get in the queue as quick as you can. Uh, looking at in any way we can help you in the graduate school. You can contact us, we'd be happy to do that. Highly encourage everybody to talk to uh, faculty or departments that have programs of interest. Um, if you went to uh, the graduate school website and clicked on the programs, you can see the, the vast array of programs we offer and the opportunities for you. For those of you that might be juniors uh, going into your senior year and you planned well, well, let's say you're a sophomore, maybe you can start planning well. There is an opportunity if you qualify to take graduate courses early. You wanna be careful with that because it could impact your financial aid, but you wanna make sure that you know an opportunity there that some people like to jumpstart their careers and their ability to start their graduate programs and complete them in an accelerated time frame. So we'd be very, very happy to talk with folks. We have some relatively new programs like business administration, uh, our data science analytics is very popular. We have our education programs, uh, master's in public administrations, and then we have a few online programs as well. For those that might be living uh, outside the territory, you can still be, be a Bengal. Um, <laughs> you can earn your graduate degree, uh, like in public relations. Uh, there's opportunities for some certificates as well. We have the, the music uh, education program is in 100% um, on, online program. And like I said, several uh, certificate programs, advanced certificate programs are available for you as well. So come speak to us. I'll be happy to talk to you. You can always contact me directly as well. Be, be very, very pleased to sit down and talk about your aspirations, not just at Buffalo State, but graduate school in general. Uh, we're setting up to do a presentation with the honors folks um, in a couple of weeks. So we're looking forward to doing that. And um, we're here for you, whether you're an undergraduate student, a graduate student, uh, talk about options. We all of us have been there, so uh, we can give you some words of wisdom uh, to help you contemplate what your next steps are. Thank you, Dean Miller. And I see that our uh, director of dining, Glenn Puccello, is on the line. And uh, even though students, you haven't warmed up to questions yet, there seems like there's always a question or two about uh, dining. So I'm going to ask uh, Glenn to talk about some of the cool things that are happening now and what he's looking for in the future. And might I say, Glenn, that I have gotten sort of really enamored with the Japanese food over there. So bento boxes and California rolls have been a, a part of my regular lately. So thank you for bringing those on. Excellent. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Um, yeah, we have um, several new things that we that we are offering in the uh, in the Bengal Kitchen and dining overall. Uh, this semester, we are actually getting ready to submit to uh, to NACOPS for uh, an uh, an award for the most uh, uh, innovative uh, wellness and nutrition program, and and really want to be able to uh, to put it forth with Buffalo State as our plentiful plate option. So. We've really um, uh, doubled down uh, last semester from the feedback from the students on being able to have a better for you options. So between, uh, we've included several programs uh, from the farmer's market that's going on today that's uh, 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 very successful. And we've had a lot of faculty and student support with that. Um, and we have uh, also our teaching kitchens to be able to teach the students how to be able to uh, have a plant-based diet and how to cook vegan food uh, on a budget, um, as well as having the different offerings and to be able to show different ways that you can get your protein and nutrition uh, in the Bengal kitchen. So we've really been able to uh, expand upon what we're offering up there, which has been uh, really great. Um, and then down in the, um, in the retail side of life, currently we are looking, we have a couple of focus groups that we're gonna be conducting for one for two taco, to be able to identify what changes the students would like to see for next year. So please go on Dine on Campus and sign up on the, uh, on the feedback form. Uh, it gets you a free lunch and $10. So it's a beautiful way to be able to get in there and try some, uh, some, some two taco. And then the second focus group is really gonna be on, uh, on tomato for next year. What does the future of that look like? 
Uh, so far, the feedback from the students has been to go to a little bit more of a Mediterranean style, Rachel's type concept uh, to bring that onto campus. So um, we wanna get some feedback on some specifics. So as we get ready to really uh, go into uh, fall 2022, that we can really nail what, what makes a difference to the student experience. So we've got a lot of things that we're working on um, and we continue to uh, um, solicit feedback all the time. Uh, our text to chat number, 716-800-4164 goes right to my phone. So love to talk to you. So if there's uh, any information, uh, please take advantage and, and let us know in dining because this is the student's dining program and we want to make it really the best in the system. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Sounds like a lot of great things uh, in store. So sounds wonderful. Um, I know students that you've been hearing us talk about the first day complete for having your books on the first day of classes and uh, creating a process for uh, that's uh, available to everyone. So I'm going to ask Director Curtis Brickhouse to say a little bit about the first day complete just to remind students about this exciting program that's coming to Buffalo State. Thank you, President Conway Turner. Uh, yes, First Day Complete, as those who've attended some of the previous presentations, is a program that we're working with in terms of Barnes and Noble to have students uh, have their books available ready for the first day of class, either be hard textbooks or digital downloads. And the beautiful thing about this program is that the fee for the book is an all-inclusive fee uh, that will be attached to your student account um, paid through your student bill and which makes it potentially aidable in terms of you have available financial aid. So there's no more having to worry about waiting to buy your books until the, until the second week of classes. So have to wait for a refund or have to find the money or in some cases, uh, sharing books with people that really doesn't work out sometimes or not buying books at all. Um, we've done talk with students in a variety of formats and they've been uh, surprisingly impressed with the program and look forward to the program because they said they it solved a lot of problems that they had in terms of searching for books and the house to buying for the books. So that's something that we're moving forward with with the college and our partnership with Barnes and Nobles. So Thank let's you, <laughs> so go ahead, Kate. <laughs> just a Sorry. couple of other things. Uh, you know, students don't be shy. You can ask questions about any of the details we're talking about. But um, students, you're probably aware, and if not, I wanna make you aware that we are searching for a new chief of police. And as we bring candidates later uh, in this semester on board, we'll want to have students get a chance to meet our candidates. And so uh, Vice President Barnum, uh, do you wanna say something about um, the timing or this wonderful search room? Yes. So the search is in progress. The search committee, which does have student representation, um, is coordinated with our VP of Student Affairs and Dean of Students, um, has an active role on the search committee itself. And we're looking to bring candidates in uh, the last week of April or start screening them in April and have them on campus the first week in May uh, to meet with all of the campus community. And, uh, so we're very much looking forward to the search and we will have our candidate named before the end of the semester. And there's one last, uh, question I'll throw out or a comment, and then I'll turn it back to Tim to see if he can get a few questions from our students or comments. Um, so I think students, you're aware that for the last year or so, we've been talking about the development of uh, a social justice space. And so I'm going to ask our deputy C uh, CDO, Lisa Frankowiak, to uh, just give you a little bit of a hint of what we're looking at and uh, when you might see some renderings in the spring. Thank you, President Conway Turner. Um, we are very excited about the social justice space. Um, and that we are making progress on it. Um, we hope that the design will um, tell the tale of social justice on Buffalo State's campus and um, will leave room to illustrate 
the future of social justice at Buffalo State. Um, we are hoping to have a, um, a unveiling in May before graduation, before final exams. So we're encouraging all students to be on the lookout for that. Um, so you will see the rendering of the final design uh, for the space, but it's going to be, um, it's very exciting. It's gonna be something that um, everyone can enjoy hopefully very soon. Thank you, thank you. And Tim, I'll throw it back to you. Sure, a couple of things, students, I wanna just remind you uh, as we wait, maybe you have no questions and we're answering all of them as we talk. Um, but certainly this, you know, part of bringing this group together is to give you some space a couple times a semester to let us know how things are going and, and what you need. Um, as you think about moving to spring break and the things that you're going to do, obviously want to make sure you're thinking about being safe uh, and uh, responsible as you, you make your way doing whatever it is you do. I know that some of our students will engage in an alternative spring break and continue to give back. And many of you will just simply take a moment to be able to rest. Um, you know, but make sure you take care of yourself. And uh, if you're going somewhere, you know, make sure you know the lay of the land and uh, be safe there. I also want to remind you as we come up on midterms that we have some amazing support resources for you uh, in the academic commons and also available virtually. So our writing center, our math center are two of the great resources that are over there and a number of you may also have access to different other tutoring support in your department should you need it. Um, now was a good time to have a conversation with the faculty member in their office hours if you uh, feel like maybe that midterm didn't go as well as you would like it to or you didn't get the feedback you expected in at a, a project at this point. So don't be shy about accessing those things. Um, certainly if you're experiencing a challenge and you don't know where to go, either the Dean of Students Office or the Vice President for Student Affairs offices are available. And so Dean of Students can be reached at Dean of Students at buffalostate.edu. Vice President for Student Affairs can be reached at studentaffairs at buffalostate.edu. And we're just a couple of sort of the clear houses that can get you on the right path if you don't know exactly where to go and it's not important that you know exactly where to go it is most important that you reach out and let us know how we can, that you need some assistance and you're not sure how to navigate things so I hope you will will access those resources as well um, I don't know if other questions have come up I don't see um, students popping those popping questions up but um, I also want to call your attention to the chat where we shared a number of resources of it that are available to you. We're also going to be posting this recording so that students who couldn't attend uh, will get this information as well. Um, but I certainly want to do a last call for um, questions or, or issues that might be on your mind students while we have this group assembled. So one last call. I think this is the quietest present con we turner we've had of a group in a long time. I think it is. And, and one last call to all of our colleagues on uh, the screen. If there is any update that you want our students to know from your areas, this is an opportunity for you also to um, talk with our students. So anyone have an update that you'd like to give? Glendis. I have one that I forgot to talk about. And really that it has to do with, uh, with food insecurity on campus. Um, on our Dine on Campus um, page, uh, all students can sign up for food insecure uh, notifications. Uh, and then when we have extra food from an event, um, we will send out a notification stating where to go to pick up the food um, so these are available all the time. They're, they're free of charge and you just go up and, and, and bring it to go backs and then fill it up. So um, I encourage uh, more students to get involved with that. Uh, and then also I just wanted to provide an update on True Burger as 3% of the revenues go to, to Milligan's to help fight food insecurity here on campus. Uh, through February, we're at $7,500 raised uh, to help fight food insecurity with Milligan. So a couple of things that we're doing uh, and a lot more to come on that. And uh, Glenn mentioned Milligan's Food Pantry, which I think is a great uh, resource, you know, for students. Maybe, you know, your check was a little short or, um, you know, rent was a little more than you anticipated or something happened. But that that 
area is available to all students. It is easy to sign up to um, access food and, and get that food. Uh, there's a great uh, shopping list listed online and you can do that all through the Dean of Students office and the um, link is in the chat. So perhaps it might not be you, maybe it's someone else that you know who might need some assistance um, in getting those healthy options. We're excited that we have both the refrigerator and freezer now, and so we're able to give students some heatable meals. Um, Glenn works with us to make sure that students who need it can get some vouchers to um, the uh, farmer's market that Paula is working at right now. Um, and so those are all great resources, but but please know that um, if you have any need and you have any concern in terms of whether it's an emergency need, something's changed in your family, you've just got a lot going on and you're trying to navigate that, uh, the Dean of Students office off offers a number of resources available to you. And so um, you can check out the website there. Um, if you go to the Milligan's link, you'll be able to see also the other things on uh, the website, but it's very easy to do. It's an electronic system. So you sign up, fill in what you want, put in your bag. Uh, the bag is prepared, which is a generic Buffalo State bag. You grab your bag and you, you go from the Dean of Students office. So um, it's very easy to access and you can, you, there's no limit to what you can get there. We also have um, support for toiletry items. If you need those sorts of things, um, you can access those in the pantry as well. And certainly partnerships like with True Burger and some of our great um, donors continue to make that resource one of the first in the system, which we're excited about, but then also um, very well supported. So don't be shy um, if you have that need or you know someone who may be in need. We certainly don't want anybody going hungry or you know, risking housing insecurity because maybe they're a little short this month. Um, we might be able to assist you with some emergency assistance. And so you can access that application and information through the Dean of Students office as well. I don't see any hands raised, President Conway Turner, so I don't know if you would like to close and uh, share some closing comments. Absolutely. Well, thank you, students, for joining us uh, this afternoon, and I hope that uh, some of the information that was shared was useful to you and that you also see some of the folks that are in charge of those areas. So in the event that you have questions later on as you reflect on any of the things we talked about, you'll know who to go to. Um, and thanks all the senior leaders that are on the screen as well for coming to be available for, with our students and to answer questions and to share uh, what you're doing in your areas. Uh, we often start our meetings with, you know, how can we better serve our students? And so uh, students, uh, please know that these amazing people you see today are always here for you to help you navigate your path through, six, through Buffalo State and, and to success. Uh, so enjoy the rest of the afternoon and students, once again, you get to go on break. So enjoy your break and we'll be working. So <laughs> take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care, everybody.